I got a fun one for you. First, let's take a look at these two photos and let's test you out. Can you tell which one was edited in Lightroom Classic? And can you tell which one was edited in Lightroom CC or Lightroom as it's known today? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. Pause the video really quick and comment below which one you think is which. My name is Will, welcome back to the channel. I have done a ton of editing videos in Lightroom Classic, and I get a comment quite often, my Lightroom looks different. Now let's clarify something. There are two Lightroom editing softwares. There is Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC, which is also uh, known as just a Lightroom now, they dropped the CC, which stood for Creative Cloud. Now Lightroom Classic is the on the desktop, using local files, has tons of tools that are separated into their own panels. It has a lot more to work with. I colloquially call it Lightroom Pro as it should be named. Then Adobe came out with Lightroom CC or just Lightroom, which is the essentially cloud-based version of Lightroom. Now you work off of cloud files, you can work on local files. They updated that recently. So you can actually work on local files on hard drives but the interface is a little bit different. It's a little bit cleaner, a little bit more modern, and it essentially mirrors um, Camera Raw from Photoshop. And it allows you to sync between your phone, your tablet, and all the sorts like that. Now I did a more in-depth video of the difference between all of these, and you can check it out somewhere. But for this video, I took one photo and I edited it in both of the programs with the exact same edit to see if you could tell the difference. Now let's start with Lightroom Classic, which is primarily what I edit with. Like I said, it should be named Lightroom Pro as I believe most photographers, professional photographers use Lightroom Classic. Now I personally start with the basic panel. I get all the white balance, the exposure and all those dialed in. Then I adjust the colors and the masking and the denoise and all of that stuff. But I pretty much jump around depending on the photos. It just depends on where the photo editing leads me and what I think needs edited next. Now, one thing I do love about Lightroom Classic is there's a panel for everything. If you look on the right side here, you'll notice that there's a panel individually for every single tool. And while this can be a little complex or overwhelming at first, once you learn it, it's much easier in my opinion than Lightroom CC is. Even though Lightroom CC looks cleaner, I like the ability to know where everything is and go to it quicker. But you can fine tune just about anything and everything in Lightroom Classic. And one edit panel that Lightroom Classic has that Lightroom doesn't is the calibration tool, which is amazing. And stay to the end and I'll let you in on a little secret that you can work around to get it into Lightroom CC. But here's the final edit from Lightroom Classic. As a quick note, if this is your first time seeing my YouTube channel, I have hundreds of videos editing. And primarily I edit in Lightroom Classic as that's what I use, so that's what I show. However, most of the panels and edits and things like that are basically the same. So learning it in Lightroom Classic, you can apply it the exact same way in Lightroom CC. So if you're having trouble, check out my channel, you might enjoy it. But really quick, hit the like button and subscribe. Now, if we go into Lightroom CC, immediately I'm a little bit lost. Now this is simply because I edit in Lightroom Classic. If you started in CC, then you would have the exact same feeling going into Classic. You'd be like, what, where is everything? It's because you're familiar. You've spent the time, you've put in the work to learn the program. So for me, I was kind of fumbling around trying to find where things are. For example, the curve adjustment doesn't actually have its own panel it's situated under the light tab in Lightroom CC. I'm gonna call it Lightroom CC the whole time just so I can keep it separate. And another example, when you open up color, that's where your white balance is, your saturation, your vibrance, your color grading, and your color mixer, that's all in that panel. So the organization is a little bit different. And like I said, if you grew up with that, then great, that you understand. For me, I like them being separate because I don't like to have to well, I don't know, personal preference. I just don't like the organization personally. I know where it is, but I just don't like it. Overall, Lightroom CC is simplified in the visual aspect. I don't really think it's necessarily simpler because if I wanna open tone curve, I don't wanna have to open light then tone curve. I wanna just open the panel for tone curve like I do in Lightroom Classic. So it's simpler and easier to look at, which might give it a feeling of being easier, but 
not necessarily, again, it really comes down to how you start it. But here is the final edit with Lightroom CC. Now look, just because Adobe complicated your life and made two Lightroom programs and made you go pretty much crazy pulling your hair out, trying to figure out what is going on, well, I have a entire Lightroom Master of Editing course that covers everything you need to know about editing in Lightroom. Now, the course itself is primarily in Lightroom Classic, so if you are in CC, this is a good time to switch, or you learn the tools in Lightroom Classic and apply what you can, which pretty much every editing tool you can do in Lightroom Classic, you can do in Lightroom CC. There are some features that aren't available, but editing-wise, you're good. So I'll link it in the description of the video so you can get more information. But essentially, if you want to master editing in Lightroom, check it out. Now, let's take a look at these side by side. If you're looking at them, you're probably saying, honestly, they look identical. And they almost do. But the main point, the main difference is the adjustments in the calibration, the skin tones. So if we zoom in on both of the images here, you'll notice that the skin tones are slightly, slightly different. The Lightroom Classic one are more natural. They're more rich and deeper. The contrast is a little bit more intense. On the CC image, you'll notice that the skin tones are a hue to the yellow side. The shadows like around her cheek are a little bit lighter. There's just not as much contrast. Granted, you could fix that by adjusting the hue of the skin tones. However, you're not gonna get it exact because the calibration tool adjusts every single pixel in every single color. So when you adjust the red calibration, you're adjusting every single red pixel in every single color. And every single color is made of red, greens, blues. I have a whole video on this. I'll link it in the description because it only lets me link so many videos up top. But this is a major tool and allows you really to get accurate and perfect skin tones. So, just that tool alone prevents me from going to Lightroom CC. Now, as a workaround, I did learn that even though you can't adjust light, the calibration in Lightroom CC, if you made a preset in Lightroom Classic, having adjusted and tweaked that calibration, and then put that preset in Lightroom CC, it will apply the adjustments, but you won't actually be able to adjust the calibration itself anymore. So it's kind of set in stone. You can adjust everything else, but the calibration itself is set in stone. Now, if you're looking for some great presets, check out on my website. I have awesome presets, even a few free ones. So let's throw those photos up again. You should have made your comments. Let's see if you got it right. A was Lightroom Classic and B was Lightroom CC or Lightroom. Did you get it right? Could you tell the difference? Did it really matter? No, because honestly, any client, any person you're delivering these photos to will not see the difference in these photos because they are so close. The tools are so close to being the same that it really doesn't matter. If you edit in Lightroom CC, great. If you edit in Lightroom Classic, great. Are you delivering amazing images to your clients? Great. Who cares which editing program you are working with? As long as you're coming out with images that you love and your clients are loving them, that's what matters. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Here is a couple of videos you should go check out which will help you edit better in Lightroom, whether it's Lightroom CC or Lightroom Classic. But with that, I'll see you in the next video.